these other unions in the brotherhood and sisterhood. The executive vice president of the AFL-CIO, Tafari Gabray. Thank you, brother. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Do we have union members here? I want to hear you. Do we have union members here? So, Randy just said everything I was going to say. It always happens. And this has been a blessed week. I spent the last two days with Reverend Barber in North Carolina, conspiring how to build a movement, how we need to build a movement. We just don't need a legislation, we need a movement. This country desperately, desperately needs for all of us to come together and march in a movement. We need not a million people, but we need millions and millions and millions of people to restore what's right in this country. And on behalf of the labor movement, which is being attacked at the same rate as the voting rights are being attacked, we want to join with all of you in a movement to restore that America, the promise of America, that all people are created equal and have, have equal access to justice, have equal access to quality public education, have equal access to stand up and demand what's right and ask their employers to treat them fairly. We're not asking for a handout. We're asking for a seat at the table. Right. And that's not too much to ask. And I'm going to name names and I'm going to quit. Representative Goodlad needs to hear you. You need to be loud enough to hear you from here to Roanoke, Virginia, that locking up the immigration bill, locking up the voting rights bill is not acceptable, and we're going to build a movement to say enough is enough. Thank you.